Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online, and this is going to be a follow-up video to the video I just posted. Uh, this is another resource page that I wanted to bring you. This was in response to one of my subscribers. Um, that was in. Re they're they're trying to put together their food product, and they were asking questions about what is what kind of terminology, what kind of wording can I put on a product to make sure I'm within the guidelines set forth by the FDA. Uh, because to be honest with you, it is a little tricky, and some of my clients are producing naturally derived foods, not necessarily organic, but they're producing foods that are natural that don't have any preservatives, chemicals, and such in them. So, you know, they're asking, what can I put on my label? Um, I want to I want to make sure that I can express the fact that it's a natural food product, but I don't want it to put it on there. Anything that that would make a health claim and because there's a really fine line between what you can and can't use. So so this video, I'm going to talk to you briefly and then I'm going to give you this again, this link directly. So another resource that I'm trying to uh, simplify for you, make it easy for you to understand and educate you. Uh, a little more on how to create and develop your food products. So if you have questions about certain terms or certain types of wording or what I can and can't do, this actually is going to help you understand it much, much better. So let me delve right into it really quick. And again, I'm going to give you kind of a run through of this and then I'll give you the link in the description and you can take a look at it on your own uh, because I know that a lot of you are producing a variety of food products. So all of these terminologies and all of these uh, types of wordings and such will not really apply to every single one of you. There'll be a few things here and there that each one of you can really use, okay? So this is the FDA.gov website, but specifically this is the page um, under the food category, right? And this is, it's called topic specific labeling, okay? So what exactly does that mean? Well, as you scroll down through here, on this page, uh, from here to here, it's going to explain to you the terms and, and, and the types of words that can be put onto a label where you're not necessarily making health claims or you're saying that it's a, an item that will help you lose weight or give you more energy or any type of other claim where you really need to have much more information. So on this page, let's just, I'm going to go through one or two of them. So here, gluten-free, I'm going to click on that. It'll take you right to the page in regards to gluten-free. <clears throat> now, as you go through here, it's going to give you some fantastic additional um, guidance, if you will, that you can click on. See how these text, this blue text uh, is highlighted? So when you click on a term and you want to look more into that specific one, uh, natural on food labeling, you simply touch that and give it two seconds here. Now this will go into detail. What does natural really mean? And what does the FDA really allow you to put on it when you put the word natural? How do they define what natural is? And then this information here will pop up and you can read more about specifically that. And we'll go back once more time, one more time, once more. <clears throat> so as you go through here, and I was just scrolling through here briefly, the word frozen, fresh frozen, um, any additional health claims that are not either a nutrient claim and such, this would be great for you to understand using utilizing the word fresh if you were going to put that on there <clears throat> irradiation uh, which is a process that is a lot of people are not aware of but irradiation is a type of radiation that is um, not necessarily put into foods but a lot of foods that come in from other countries go through a process called irradiation uh, you can learn more about that on here as well but anyways, going through here, understanding food allergens, uh, utilizing biotechnology in food production and such. So this is going to give you a bit of really useful information. Some people actually use also <clears throat> concerns about botanicals and other novel ingredients they are known as and conventional foods. So there's even some foods that are processed where people add these what they call quote unquote novel ingredients, uh, botanicals and derivatives from plants and those types of things, which are not a normal food ingredient, if you will. So pick this out, go through here and click on <clears throat> one of these topics. And as you do, it's going to take you specifically to that one. Uh, trans fats, by the way, that was something several years ago that was that, that kind of blew up a big time. People were really concerned about the amount of trans fats, which are fats that are highly processed and put into foods, but the human body doesn't reach a temperature high enough to break down these um, uh, these uh, fats uh, that are known as trans fats. They're a much harder, denser type of fat. They're used as a preservative. 
Um, and when your body can't break it down, a lot of health issues can really arise because uh, trans fats were popping up in a ton of different foods. So again, you wanted to learn more about that and specifically what that means, you can check that out here. So this is a simple page. It's got though a lot of in interesting information and it will help you understand the labeling process much, much better. So um, this is gonna be a super short and sweet video. Check out the link down below. I'm gonna give you that link that's right on the top up here. And then click onto this and uh, definitely check it out. Now, the other thing that you can do, guys, by the way, once you're on the FDA website, these are the different um, categories of information, okay? Check out the food category itself. And um, all of this fantastic resources. Here it is. It's a navigate the food section, pops up, and it shows you the guidance and regulations, compliance, you know, understanding. If you're international uh, outreach where your uh, trade agencies and such that are working internationally, label and nutrition, dietary supplements, uh, some of the labeling requirements for those products. If you're wanting to get into the dietary supplement, um, uh, doing uh, different types of vitamins, if you're doing uh, protein shakes, those types of things, this is great, great information. So all of this information is truly great resources. Check it out for yourself. It's going to be under the food category. And that will have a, a literally uh, treasure trove of information for you. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up really quick. I wanted you guys to take a look at this, and I do hope this helped you out. If it does, always appreciate the support. Give me a thumbs up, um, and I'll have a lot, again, more useful information coming out to help you design your food products and get your food business up and running. Take care, guys.